Hello and welcome to another instalment on my channel, Second Chance Addiction. Um, I've not uploaded uh, recently, I've been unwell, um, but since my last upload um, here in England we have gone into national lockdown and it got me thinking, um, as much as I make this channel around addiction in general and mental health, on the gambling addiction side of it, um, I just think especially with the financial impact that lockdown um, and coronavirus in general is having um, it's particularly a dangerous time to those who may be struggling with the gambling or indeed um, have really hit rock bottom and, and almost feel there's no other way out um, so whatever level you are with your gambling whether it's you think you may have a, a problem starting whether you feel that you have it rock bottom but there's no other option to get you out of whatever financial situation you're in other than to gamble I think lockdown just adds the danger tenfold to it because one of the biggest things um, one of the biggest almost dangers to us who struggle with gambling is time and if for whatever reason you've got a lot of time on your hands because of the lockdown perhaps you've been furloughed or you've even lost your job your business it can lead to a lot of time at home um, you know the message is stay home stay safe and things so I feel that's one aspect of the danger during lockdown the other aspect is the financial impact as I said and with gambling it's juicy lights it's the sounds of a big win, the the easy, well I say easy, the easy when you win that you know you've not when you deposit online or when you go to a casino you're sort of hoping that you win but deep down maybe you're not expecting to but when you do it's almost as though it's easy um, so you know if you've worked your money out that you've budgeting on so much X amount a month and suddenly you've got an extra £300 or whatever you've won it's almost like wow that's easy and that's a particularly a massive danger and a massive danger in the respect that with lockdown with the people struggling with with financial side of it it's not going to be long if you're a gambler before you start thinking I could do with a win this month things are looking difficult how can I get some money and when you start thinking how can I get some money it, if you're already a gambler it's not going to be long until you start thinking well I will have a flutter see whether I can uh, improve our finances with a win and that's very very dangerous um, again I, I only speak out of my opinion but with the two aspects I've mentioned, the time on his hands and the financial implications of lockdown, the need to improve his finances without being able to maybe work or work and achieve the, the money that he was on perhaps before, it's just really a dangerous time. And there is awareness and it is spreading out there about the dangers of gambling addiction and companies are doing their bit to an extent you know I'll not go into it too much I've got opinions on that but I think what we can do is in immediate term is, is look at things we can do ourselves so without going into my story it is on uh, the channel on a, another video um, I can vouch for the fact that if you are gambling out of desperation to win and you're already starting to think you may be struggling with your gambling it's just not the answer you won't you overall you will not come out on top if you're confident that you can control your gambling to the extent where you can have a little play if you win you take the money you walk away and that's it for the week or the month or whatever fine but if you're gambling perhaps you're starting to feel like you're spending a little bit more time 
a l placing a l little bit more bets, a little bit more on the casino games or roulette or whatever. And if you're starting to s sort of find yourself spending more time doing that than social contact with others, be it on the phone, Zoom or whatever, um, during lockdown or perhaps instead of spending time with the family. Um, and if you're definitely doing that because you're thinking, as I said, I've not got the money I was achieving before. I don't know I'm going to pay my bills. I need a big win. I think this is at the point where you need to be thinking about putting measures in place to to limit or to stop for the time being at least um, your gambling because it is I can only describe it myself is it's like the sea creeping up on you on the beach you think you're okay you think the tide's really far out but before you know it it's swept in and it swept you out and once you're out there there's it's a dangerous dangerous place and it can take lives and to be honest my steps that I'm going to recommend are to reduce I suppose I mean if you are in the, the situation where you feel you need to stop I'm going to do another video on things you can do to stop but to reduce in the immediate term the amount you're doing first of all I would uh, it's not going to be easy but I would put on the tools on the websites that you play on if it's online which at lockdown it's it's going to be online um i would introduce the limits the daily limits and the weekly limits and i would keep them as low as you feel is is right if this is if you are going to continue gambling i would you know if you may be in the pre you know prior to lockdown could afford x amount 40 pound a week maybe reduce it to 20 and allow for the financial impact of not achieving that full wages that full income that your business is providing and just keep it at a lower amount as possible um i wouldn't i definitely wouldn't get into the rounds of signing up for once you've put those limits in place signing up to different websites looking for different websites to play out because there's a danger in that in itself a lot of websites online gambling casinos sports betting they're all there with the big flashy offers deposit 10 pound today and we'll give you 50 to play with or whatever amount and it's so easily done to get tempted in by those and then once you're in there let's just say you took a deposit offer 50 pound i'm just pulling figures out just for example 50 pound and they give you 100 pound to play with that's all well and good but if you lost that 50 pound and what they give you which there are wagering attached to a lot of them so it's not easy as just one two three i can take my money if i win um if you lose the 50 pound what you're going to want to do you're going to want to get that money back i would stay away from opening new casinos that's that's the step i would take even if it's just in the short term if you've got casinos open or sports betting websites open maybe if you are going to continue gambling stick with those but set the limits the other thing i would do is when i am gambling as in when you are going to sit down and have a bet whether it's sports betting or casino i would dedicate a certain amount of time to that so i would if it's going to be casino games i don't know 30 minutes one hour but i would always have something in place that i'm doing after that so rather than think i will gamble in one o'clock in the morning when i have nothing to do after because that's dangerous in itself time again you know time um i would have something in place perhaps you're going out for a walk with the kids or you you're helping your missus or your husband with uh, a job in the house or something i would always have something that you're doing after your gambling time because that will hopefully reduce the amount of time you spend doing it because again i talk about time so much if you've got three four hour window where you can gamble you're not doing anything after and you lose 50 pound you lose 100 pound whatever amount 
you've got time on your hands. It's easy to put another deposit on. You know, it's easy to just keep going, keep going. And if you've set your limits, you've still got time on your hands to, oh, they're offering a deposit bonus there, that new website. And so it goes. That's why I say it's important that you have a set time. You know, everybody's got their own things they're doing. But if you are going to gamble, have some time where you do it, but always have something in place after what you're doing. Um, and that will hopefully reduce the temptation to carry on if you are losing. Um, if you find that those couple of things don't work, then I would also start to look at the possibility of taking a break altogether from gambling. Um, even if it's just in the short term, even if it's just 10 days, 20 days a month, just have a little break. If you're feeling that it is getting to the point where you can't control it perhaps, or you, you're gambling a lot more than usual, um, you're reducing, like I said, contact with your family, your, your friends, or you, you're spending a lot more than what you would like to or what you can afford, then maybe take a break. Look at taking just a, a short break if you have to. Um, and there's things you can do with that. You can set the um, time out on the casino websites, um, any good casino anyway, or sports betting company, um, to have a time out, have, a, have 30 days or whatever you feel. But the other thing you can do, um, again, is, I know it's maybe sound extreme, but if it is getting to that stage where you really are struggling, maybe give up access to money for, for 10 days, 20, whatever amount of time you've chose to have a break, 30 days, just maybe give up access to money. If, it, if you've got the option to do that, what I mean by that is with your bank uh, card that you deposit on, with your PayPal, maybe ask your missus or your friend, um, look, they don't, if, if you've got good friends around, you're good, you know, a, a partner, if you, if you can just ask them to maybe change the password on your PayPal, change your password on your um, banking, online banking. Maybe if you ask them if they can look after your card for a, a few days, a few weeks. That way it reduces the... Because if you set a sort of exclusion limit for 30 days on one website, it's still that option to set up another. And that's what I'm saying about the dangers of other websites being available to you. If you reduce your access to money on your cards, on your banking, uh, access to any of them, it's reducing that chance you've got to be able to, you know, set it up a, an account to deposit, to, to start getting loans. If you've got no bank access, bank card access, and no access to your PayPal or whatever deposit method you use, be it just changing a password, be it just limiting um, the amount of money that's in the bank, maybe transfer it to a friend or, or, or partner, good friend. I don't just mean every Tom, Dick and Harry. But I really do believe that these are steps that could help you in the short term. Um, but if you are still struggling and you're not really finding perhaps what I've said helpful and it's got to the stage where you feel you, that you really need to stop and stop for good, then please check out the other videos on my channel there's enough you know even youtube in general there's enough information out there um contact gamblers anonymous contact gamble aware um gamcare they're all there to help and by all means message me on twitter um my link to my twitter is in the description below um but if you do feel as though you need to stop completely um by all means there's information out there to to tell you what what steps you can put in place to do that um, and following this video there will be another upload explaining a full sort of step by step process on, on giving up and what I recommend to start and stop gambling but take care out there lockdown is a dangerous time for all addictions and mental health you know it is an escape uh, to some people once it does become an escape it's particularly dangerous you know, the financial impact for gambling in particular, of lockdown, of coronavirus, and businesses in general struggling, you know, or jobs, people losing their jobs in general. 
it, it is a really dangerous place and there's so many gambling adverts and things out there at the moment it is really a bad time but stay strong take what you can from these videos I'm just speaking my opinion my experience hopefully you can take something from it maybe it helps one maybe it helps two maybe it helps many more hopefully it will um, but stay safe out there I know it's a tough time at the moment but keep your head up you know we will get through it it will return to normal eventually but for now stay safe keep keep yourself safe from gambling this is the aim of the video and um, please if you are finding this beneficial leave a like leave a comment subscribe and hopefully we can spread the awareness of addiction and gambling addiction in general to others out there who may need it thank you for, cheers this is the aim of the video and um, please if you are finding this beneficial leave a like leave a comment subscribe and hopefully we can spread the awareness of addiction and gambling addiction in general to others out there who may need it thank you for, cheers